Tyler Ninja Blevins has become a household name. He's been featured on the news, he's exploding on Twitch, and a lot of people watch this guy on a daily basis just to play a video game. But the question we're asking today is, why is Ninja not only the best at Fortnite, but why is he the best at life advice? Stay tuned. We got it, we won. Let's go, Brandon! Yeah! Let's go, baby! What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. So make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned. But yeah, so before I get into the topic of Tyler Ninja Blevins, uh, I just wanted to kind of talk about myself for a second because a lot of you are new here, you don't know me that well. But anyways, I actually used to be in the professional gaming scene um, a long time ago. Like gaming has always been a huge, huge, huge part of my life. But if you wanna learn more about my uh, esports career, go ahead and check out the info card up there. I made an entire video about my rise in the esports industry and my fall due to addiction. So lately I've been really getting into Fortnite. I actually kind of got into it when my girlfriend and I went to go visit her family. I was playing with her little brothers. I'm like, this is actually kind of fun. And it's awesome because now my son and I, we get to play it. I'm a workaholic and this has been kind of like my ah, time because I work full time. I make all these videos for you beautiful people out there. And Fortnite has kind of been like my relaxing time and more quality time I get to spend with my son. But anyways, like I want to invite all of you, like I will put my Epic Games name right here, it's MSTZ Bootman. If you wanna add me and you wanna play sometime, I've played with a couple of the subscribers. We have a blast, so if you wanna add me, go for it. But also, my son and I stream over on my second channel. It's called Dilly and Dad. I kinda let my son run the show, but anyways, do me a favor. If I have ever provided you with any value, any value whatsoever, go ahead, check out the Dilly and Dad YouTube channel and subscribe. Let's try to get my little boy up to a thousand subscribers, okay? So anyways, anyways, I, I suck at Fortnite. So if you play with me, just be warned, I suck. But something I, I like to do, I like to watch Twitch streamers. Ninja's one of my favorites. And I've, I've seen him on podcasts and interviews and things like that. When I'm doing other things or just passing the time, I'll just have Ninja's stream up and I'm watching him play. But for those of you who don't know how Twitch works, people can uh, donate money and things like that to help the, uh, support uh, the streamer. It's kind of like what we do here on YouTube with super chats and things like that. And Sometimes Ninja gets donations and he'll read people's comments and people ask questions. And what I've been fascinated by, and this is the real topic of this video, what I've been fascinated by is that people ask Ninja for like life advice. Really interesting. I mean, I recommend if you're actually depressed, which I, I mean, obviously truly believe that you are, if you say you are, you should reach out to like a psychiatrist, try to talk to somebody about it and work on improving your life while using my stream as an outlet to be happy, obviously. but you can't just only rely on my stream. I'm sitting there and I'm just so fascinated by it. I'm so fascinated by human nature. Like, he is a professional gamer. Why are people asking him life advice? So the quick disclaimer I wanna throw out there before I dive into this topic even further is I want all of you out there to know that I am not this all-knowing being. I want you guys to question me. If you check out the comments, I'm very active in there. I love back and forth. I love kind of debating and discussing topics, not in a mean way, but like I'm always open to new ideas because I don't know everything. So I do want to say that like, my word is not like the ultimate authority. I appreciate you all coming to me for my knowledge and my experience, but I do want you to go out and try these things and see what works for you and maybe give me some new information that maybe I can make videos on. But I think it's important that we always look at the source, the source of where this information is coming from and why we hold certain people to such high standards. If any of you watched my Nicole Arbor video um, where she was depression shaming people. Only one person can get you out of depression and that is you. It's all in your head, it's all in your head. I was talking about that, like, why would anybody take mental health advice from her, right? So when it comes to Ninja, when it comes to Ninja, He's actually a great guy. He is a really, really good person. Um, if you see other people talking about Ninja, he's just a nice 
guy who tries to be as selfless as possible. He tries to give back. Over on his Twitch stream, he's done uh, uh, fundraising for different charitable organizations like St. Jude's, and he does other streams where he raises money for other organizations. Something else that he does is that he tries to help out other streamers and get their name out there because he has such a massive audience. He's a really, really good person. So like, even though I'm telling you to check the source, like Ninja's actually a really good role model. Recently, he's gotten some pushback from fans because he's trying to tone down his language because he acknowledges that he has a young audience. People like sell out and da 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 da, -da. but like, this is just a really good guy. Like, he's not constantly thinking about himself. So. When I, when I work with clients or when I talk to other people struggling with their mental health and, or, or just a life that's unmanageable, you know, I often say like, try to ask yourself, what would this person say? What would this person do in that situation? Somebody that you look up to, someone who you think has a good moral code, ask yourself that. And that'll kind of help guide your thinking and guide your actions because a lot of us, a lot of us struggle from poor mental health because we run off our own thoughts and our own actions, which keep getting us into trouble. But, for example, Tyler Ninja Blevins, like, yes, he is a, a world famous Twitch streamer. The dude is making millions of dollars, right? But he is completely honest with people and he says, look, the only reason I'm allowed to do what I do is because I put school first. I, I went to school, I did all my homework, I passed tests, I got good grades, and then I would come home and I would grind in video games. Like, he's setting a good example for kids. But I want you to kind of question yourself and ask yourself, like, who are the people, you know, in the celebrity limelight that you're looking up to? You know, is it like, is it people like Ninja or is it people like, I don't know, the Kardashians? You know what I'm saying? And like, that's just really important because I see so many people who just assume this person's rich and famous, so they must lead a good life. And when you think about that, like those two things don't often go together. Like there's no reason why those two things should correlate. Like just because a person acts and they're in movies and on TV doesn't make them a good person automatically. Just because a person owns a business or makes a lot of money doesn't automatically make them a good person. Like for example, I often say this to my clients and I'm gonna say it to all of you too. I do my best to be the exact same person that you see here outside, right? So if you were to meet me just on the streets, I wouldn't just wanna be some jerk and you'd be like, oh wow, like, that guy's way different in his videos, you know? All of the, the traits that I give you through these videos, I try to do them to the best of my ability when I'm out in public as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. I just want you guys to kind of start asking yourself, who do you look up to? Who do you idolize? And why is that? Why is that? Let's do this, let's do a fun game. Down in the comments below, tell me maybe somebody in celebrity culture who you look up to and tell me why. Tell me why. I'm interested to see, is it money, is it fame, is it fortune? Or is it because they get involved with charities? Is it because they help other people out? You know what I mean? So anyways, anyways, again, please, 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 like I said, if I've provided you any value ever, 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 go check out my son's channel, Dilly and Dad. I will link it in the description. Subscribe to his channel. Let's try to get this kid to a thousand subscribers, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, again, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. And if you wanna check out some other videos on this channel, you can click or tap right there. Actually, there's the eSports video right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.